Hi, this is Tom Olszewski with Caldwell Banker and Team Olszewski. Time is flying by this year. We are all done with the first half of 2019. This is the French Valley Real Estate Market Update. So in this video, I will be pro providing detailed updates on how the French Valley real estate market ended up for the first half of 2019 overall, and to give you some insight on what the experts are saying the rest of the 2019 real estate market will be looking like. Because there have been changes to our multiple listing service, the area for this data contained here in this report is actually all of the area from the 92596 zip code. French Valley real estate market remains steady and is still in a seller's market. Not a crazy seller's market like we saw the spring of 2018, but still strong with only 3.2 months of inventory and homes on average selling in about 41 days if priced right. As I had stated previously, if anything, it's a better market to buy and sell. Let's see how the overall real estate market looked for the first half of 2019 overall and take a look at this last month year over year. So how is 2019 shaping up so far? Basically, continues to be pretty steady as we go. We have seen the usual uptick in activity this last quarter as we typically see at the prime time for real estate. It should be very similar to what we saw the last quarter of 2018, the experts are saying. Inventory is rise, rising slightly, but these on the market has been decreasing as there are still buyers out there looking to buy. So let's see what the detailed numbers look like here in French Valley 92596. First, we will look at the closed sales in French Valley at the end of June. At the end of June 2019, there were a total of 41 closed sales in the area of French Valley of all price ranges and types of homes. This compares to 67 closed sales at the end of June 2018, which is a year-over-year -year decrease of about 34.9%. The number of sales has peaked so far this year in 2019 in May with 61 homes sold. The two biggest segments that had declining sales are the under 700 to 899,000 and the, and the over 900,000, both flatlined at zero. The under 400K to 600 was down 38.6%. Next, we will look at the number of active listings. I have a slide on this to show the spike of listings and as of the end of June, there were 134 active listings in the area of French Valley, which is down from 152 the previous year, decreasing 11.8%. This has decreased slightly all quarter long, and the 700 to 899 segment had the largest decrease at 50% year over year. It is important to understand these numbers. So if you want to sell your home, it has to look great to get top dollar. With the additional competition we have now, we can help with that. And if you go to our new video blog, the link will be below. I have a video covering what top five things you can do to get top dollar when you sell. The next important number we will look at is how many months supply of listings do we have in the French Valley area. This along with the number of sales indicates what type of market we have today. Where are we ending up the first half of 2019? Are we still in a seller's market or was there a shift? Well, the data as of the end of June shows 3.2 months of inventory available for buyers overall. With the neutral point being six months, we are definitely still in a seller's marketplace overall, just not a crazy seller's market like we had the first and second quarters of last year. Because of the diverse types of property we have here in French Valley, there is a difference depending upon what segment you are interested in. The two bookends 
of opposite ends are the under 400,000 segment that only has 1.7 months of supply, making it a very tight segment for buyers. The other end of the spectrum is the over 900,000 segment that now has six months supply, an increase of 100%, making this segment a very strong buyer's market, even though there's not a lot of inventory at that price point here. If you have questions about your specific neighborhood or home, please give me a call or send an email and I can give you specifics for your area in French Valley and your home. Next, are home values still increasing here in French Valley or are we losing value? The medium sales price for June in French Valley overall was $429,000. This compares to the beginning of 2019 where the median sales price was 373,000. This shows about a 0.9% increase year over year. Again, it's important to know that this combines all types of homes and price points. This overall number has a big dependency uh, about how many lower priced homes and higher priced homes sell during the time period. There was no segment that had dropped all increase with the 400 to 699 price segment increasing 8.2 percent year over year the 700 to 900 and the over 900 had no activity to report things are different in all areas of french valley with a large number of brand new homes estate homes and older homes housing growth will still maintain a 3.74% growth rate for the West Coast in 2019, the experts are predicting. And even if we should see an economic slowdown in 2020, home values are still predicted to increase in value 2.8%. No bubble here. So just to show that the market is still strong, here are the numbers pertaining to the percentage of sales price to the original list price. Homes overall in French Valley sold at 99.2% overall, up slightly by 0.3%. In general, I'm seeing if a home is not in great shape, it's going to sell for less. There is enough inventory now where buyers have multiple homes to choose from and every home, regardless of the year built, has a completely updated price and a needs work price or somewhere in between. The next number to be aware of is the number of days a home stays on the market before selling. For French Valley at the end of June, that number was 41 days. This number reflects a 13.9% increase year over year, but it's still looking pretty good. This is the difference between the lower inventory last year and more homes on the market this point in the year. The 400 to 699 price segment had the largest increase at 47 days, an increase of 20.5%. The last item I wanted to quickly provide an update on is how our mortgage rates are currently looking. Rates have actually decreased again at the midpoint of 2019. Recent rates are floating around 3.875% for a 30-year fixed mortgage. FHA VA is at 3.75% depending upon the lender. Down slightly again, rates have definitely not increased like the experts were thinking they would this year so far, but they are expected to rise slightly in the last half of 2019. So if you have been thinking about buying your first home or upsizing or downsizing, and need a loan, this summer is still a great time to sell and buy before rates go up. Well, I hope this market update has been helpful. If you have been thinking about buying or selling and would like more information, please feel free to 951 506 5744 or via email at tom at tamolsuski.com. There will be a slide at the end of this video on ways to contact us. The bottom line, as I see it, is it's a great time to buy and sell with still low interest rates and more inventory to pick from when buying. Last year, I heard from many sellers that they were worried they couldn't find anything to buy if they sold. Some of them even tried and then took their home off the market when they couldn't find what they wanted to buy. Now is the time to revisit this 
and make the move. This is Tom Olszewski with Team Olszewski and Caldwell Banker signing out. Make it a great day.